In this video, we are going to focus on the gradient intercept form of a straight line or the general form of a straight line. You will find this on page 312 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's first look at the gradient intercept form, the one we used in the previous videos. It's sometimes also called the standard form. The equation of a straight line is this. Now, can you see? They give it to you in the general form. Now, they first say, express the equation in the gradient intercept form because if it's in that form you can get more information you can see what's the gradient and you can see where it cuts the y-axis so basically I'm just taking the formula and it's almost like just making y the subject of the formula that's actually what I'm doing making y the subject of the formula and you can see if you go back to algebra you see you can go into especially how we make subject of the formula. That will be in chapter 4. Let, I just want to make sure for you. Um, you will find that in the textbook um, on page 169 in chapter 4. That's correct. Okay, and I think I must write it in there. So let's start. Make y. So I just keep the term y and I take the other terms over. Or to cancel out, I subtract 2x, subtract 2x, subtract 6, subtract 6. And then to get y alone, positive 1y, I divide negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. And then if the equation is in this form, the gradient intercept form, I can see the gradient and I can see the y-intercept, and that's very, hence take the gradient and the y-intercept. So the gradient will be 2 over 3, and the y-intercept will be 2. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to just do um, number, yes, let's take number B. Stop the video and just do number B. I think I'm going to do number B and D. I think the fraction will also be good as a practice. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. So first number B, I write X minus 2Y minus 4 and that's equal to 0. So if I make this the subject, Please don't write 2y. Always grab the sign in front. Okay, so then it's going to be negative x it to cancel there and then positive 4. If it's there positive in the other side, due to cancelling it becomes the opposite sign. Then I just divide negative 2 and I divide negative 2 and I divide negative 2. And I'm going to get now, um, I'm going to get that y is equal to a half it's better to write the half in front minus 2 and that will be my answer and then this was number i so if they go and I, they ask you in the second one now from this information write down the gradient so what will be I can say the gradient The gradient will be a half and the y-intercept and that will be grab the sign negative 2. Okay. And then I said do also do number D. I think number D is good because of the fractions. So if I have x over 5 minus y over 3 equals 1. The first step is to get rid of the fractions. And how do I do that? This is the equation. So what I usually do is I just make the denominators the same. So in this case, I will just say multiply 3. It's going to be 15, the LCM. Multiply 5, multiply 5 multiply 15, multiply 15. So what will I get? I will get, and I'm just going to write it here now, I will get 3x minus 5y 
equals 15. Because basically, as soon as the denominators are the same, I cancel it by multiplying by 15, multiply 15, multiply 15. So basically, the denominators just cancel out. For me, this is the easy method. Just make them the same, and assuming that by multiplying with 15 over 1, it will cancel out. Okay, and now I'm going to make y the subject of the formula. So it's going to be negative 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 15. Then I'm just going to divide negative 5, divide negative 5, divide negative 5. And then I'm going to get y is equal to 3 over 5 x minus 3. Okay, and if this is my answer, that will be now my answer of number D. And then I can just go on. That color was not nice for me, so let's take another color. So I can, can say that the gradient, what will be the gradient? And that is going to be 3 over 5. And then I'm going to say the y-intercept and that is going to be negative 3. And again, remember to grab the sign. Don't just write 3, grab the sign. In the next video, we will focus on the general form.